Hello and it's PCL Pehe. In this video I'm gonna show you how to fix crashing and not launching of the game Horizon Zero Dawn for PC. It is a really common problem that occurs mostly on the startup of this game and for some users it might occur during the gameplay. All you have to do is watch this video till the end and follow each and every step very carefully and most probably it will help you in fixing this problem. And if not then let me know in the comment section and I'll find more fixes for this problem. Also I make regular gaming content and you can watch my playlist on fixing different errors in all these popular games and subscribe now for regular gaming updates related to this game and many other games. So now without any further ado, let's get started. So the first step is a really important one and I consider this step to be a necessary one. So before performing any other steps, I recommend that you should clean boot your PC. So what clean booting does is, it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts too. So just clean boot your PC and it might help you in fixing any crashing or not launching issues for this game. So all you have to do is watch this video, I've already made a 4 minutes guide if you don't know how to clean boot your PC. If you know how to clean boot then it's good, you can just clean boot your PC. But if you don't know then you can just watch my video, I'll provide you the link of this video in the description. Watch this video, clean boot your PC and then proceed to the next step. So now the second step. Most of the people ignore this step because they believe that if they have updated their graphic drivers and downloaded the latest windows update, then they don't have to perform this step. But that's not it, because there are many drivers which are used while playing a game, which includes graphic drivers, display drivers, network adapters, pointing devices and many more. And not all of them are updated with the Windows update. So there are many softwares available which scan for the latest drivers and update them really quick. So you can download any of these software from the web. And if you have any doubt that which software to trust, then I've already made a video on one such software on how to download and use Driver Booster 7. You can watch this video and I've shown how to use this software for updating all your drivers at once. Link of this video is in the description, but after performing this step, if you are still facing this problem, then proceed to the third step. So now the third step, and it works for most of the users, so what you have to do is, you just have to open your file explorer, and here you have to go to this PC. Right click on your this PC and go to your properties. And here in properties, go to advanced system settings, and once you are in your advanced system settings, go to performance. In performance settings, you have to go to advanced, and in advanced, you have to change your virtual memory. So once you're here, you have to untick this automatically manage paging file and here select the drive in which your game is installed. So for me, there's only one drive that is the C drive and I have installed my game in this only. Here select the custom size and if you have 8 GB of RAM in your PC, then change both of them to, to 8192 and 8192 and then just click on OK. But if you have 16 GB of RAM, then change it to 16384 and 16384. And if you have a 32 GB RAM, then you don't have to perform this step because most probably you don't need anything like this on a 32 GB RAM PC. So I have a 8 GB RAM PC, so I will just change it to 8192 and 8192 and then apply the settings. And most probably after restarting your PC after performing this step, then try running your game and most probably your game will work. But if it still doesn't work, then proceed to the next step. And now the fourth step. And I found this solution on a Steam forum and it is working for many users. So I'm going to include this in my video. So what you have to do is you have to open your Steam and in your Steam, you have to go to settings. And in settings, you have to go to in-game settings and here disable the Steam overlay while in the game. You just have to disable it. And also you have to turn off the FPS counter. So it is really important because it is causing the problem for many users out there. So it might be the case for you too. So once you have disabled it, click on OK and then restart steam and then try running the game and then most probably your problem will be fixed but if it doesn't then proceed to the next step so now this is the last step in this step what you have to do is first of all you have to search for steam and you have to make sure that you are running it as an administrator so right click on it run it as an administrator and after it once you're in your library go to horizon zero dawn right click on it and click on manage and manage you have to browse to local files and in local files, what you have to do is, you have to right click on your horizon zero dawn.exe file, go to its properties, and in compatibility, make sure that you have ticked run this program as an administrator, click on apply, and click on ok. After it, double click on this, and try running the game with this instead of your Steam. So instead of running your game with the help of your Steam, you just have to game, go to your games directory, and run it using this horizon zero dawn.exe file. And it is working for many users. One other thing you can try is, it was only working for one of the users on the Steam forum. So what that user did is, he just uninstalled Visual C++ Redistributable for Windows and then installed it again. 
So uninstalling and reinstalling it worked for a user so you can try this too. So I believe that's it for this video. You can also watch my videos on Smart Game Booster Advanced Setup. If you want to improve your PC's overall gaming performance, it will really help if you have a low-end PC. And I've already made a video for especially for NVIDIA users in which I have shown best settings for NVIDIA control panel for best gaming experience. So you can watch this video too. I'll provide link of all these videos in the description. So make sure to watch it. It will surely help in improving your PC's overall gaming performance. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then please leave a like. If you have any doubt, write in the comment section. And also subscribe now for regular gaming content related to this game and many other games. Thank you and have a nice day.